Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Now to address the elephant in the room before I get any further. Um, this room is not my normal place and no, I am not yet moved into my new apartment um, because we don't have furniture yet in my new apartment but we're also like not allowed to stay on campus. So we're in some uh, temporary hotel-ish housing for students while we are in the process of getting furniture. So we're like you know, trying to get all settled while doing this social distancing thing really well. It's stressful, y'all. <laughs> um, but I did want to address that before I go into video any further. On the bright side for the next few videos while I'm filming here, the lighting is just impeccable because I have this glorious window that is just giving me the best lighting. So that'll be really great. I hope y'all are also staying healthy and practicing good social distancing in these really weird times. And I also want to keep making content for y'all that will, you know, bring you a little bit of joy during these very strange and awful times that we live in. And I know my mental health has been precarious <laughs> over the last few weeks. And so I know that I'm not the only person experiencing that. So that's why I want to make good content for y'all. You know what's better? than anything else in this world for mental health, Animal Crossing. Anyway, basically I wanted to do a little get ready with me and just talking about Animal Crossing New Horizons because I think that would bring a lot of joy to a lot of people because I know it's bringing me joy. And I'm going to kind of be doing an Isabelle inspired look. I saw a small YouTuber, Madelaide, do a video like basically turning herself into Isabelle and I don't have that level of like cosplay skills but I do really like yellow eyeshadow. All of the people on the YouTubes might have also finally peer pressured me into trying yellow blush because let's be honest I'm not going outside so I don't really have anyone to see you know if I look bad in yellow blush beyond my 1100-ish subscribers um, so y'all can hold me to whatever yellow blush looks like on me. Besides I have these shadows from Sugar Pill, these two right here that I ordered like a month ago and I still haven't used and I really want to use Butter Cupcake because it's cute. Okay, so my camera was being pretty rude right then and not working to its best of its ability with my computer so I'm going to film it without connecting my camera to the computer and hope for the best that I will not go out of frame or anything. So anyway, here we go gonna prime up my eyes. So I pre-ordered the new Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have been an Animal Crossing fan since I was a child. I started playing Animal Crossing Wild World. I did not get like New Leaf or City Folk just because I'm not a super super heavy gamer. Like I have certain games that I like. I like you know Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, The Sims, like some Sonic games. You know, I played like some of the Harry Potter games when I was a kid, but I'm not like aggressively into gaming. And so I kind of just like didn't want to get a whole new uh, console just to like get other Animal Crossing games because that just like didn't make sense to me. So I haven't owned all of the Animal Crossing games, but I've played Wild World and the iPhone app, like the Pocket Camp game. And then I have a Switch. So I decided to go ahead and get New Horizons. I use a Switch to exclusively basically play Stardew Valley and New Horizons now. So that is kind of my relationship to the game also. People said Butter Cupcake was good. I did not properly realize how good Butter Cupcake actually is. It's pretty cute, it's cute, I like it. I was super excited when New Horizons came out because like since I already had a Switch, a friend of mine kind of gave me his old Switch because he wasn't really like using it anymore. And so I was excited because it was like, okay, since I don't have to buy a whole new console just to get the latest Animal Crossing game, of course I'm gonna like get it because that just means I have to get the game right. And I was so excited because I've been waiting for some good Animal Crossing content for a long period of time in my life, just because it brings me joy. And I think it really did come out at a very, very good time, just, you know, due to everything going on in the world. Because, you know, I've missed all my old favorite characters and all of that. You know, I even miss Tom Nook, that little capitalist raccoon dog. He owns my soul, but I would not 
want anyone else to own my soul except for a cartoon raccoon dog, am I right? So I'm super excited and so I pre-ordered it and I've been playing it every single day and it has been one thing keeping my mental health together. <laughs> one thing? Also you, babe. One of the things that I've loved the most is the return of Blathers. Blathers the Museum Owl is my favorite character in Animal Crossing of all time because um, I think he's the best. He is the sweetest little owl and I am someone who can't do any like negative interactions in video games ever. That's really not who I am so like I always ask him to explain everything that I donate to the museum because he's just so wholesome and so sweet and I love him. Except I don't make him explain the bugs because he's like irrationally afraid of bugs and I don't get it. Like I get that some people are afraid of bugs but that little owl is afraid of butterflies and I don't like even moths I could potentially understand but Jesus Christ brothers butterflies? I'll protect him from all harm or perceived harm that will come <laughs> via butterflies and insects. So I'm just having a grand old time. Like I'm definitely not as far in it as I've seen a lot of other people. I'm not someone who time travels in Animal Crossing. I've seen that there are other people who do. I want to be judgy because I'm a naturally judgy person, but I'm really trying not to be, you know? Besides like we all have our ways of playing video games and how other people play their games doesn't impact me. I used to be very judgy about that but that's also because like in previous games I was so terrified of resetting the mole. I mean I was terrified of a lot of things in like some of the old Animal Crossing games. I was so anxious. Um, I still am. Like I still don't want to screw up and get resetting or anything. Um, because it is not a pleasant experience. I don't like being yelled at by a mole. <laughs> but at the same time, like, I shouldn't really be that concerned with how other players play their games. Although I have noticed that a lot of people are, like, calling certain characters, like, ugly and stuff. And I'm like, no, that I just can't get behind. All of them are adorable in their own way. And, like, I wasn't that involved in the Animal Crossing fandom until this one came out because, like, I mean, when Wild World came out, I was a literal child. So I could only be so active in any fandom, you know, but now I'm kind of like, oh, some people are like really mean to their characters <laughs> because they're like perceived as ugly. I'm like, oh, that makes me sad. Like this is such a wholesome game with the frick, you know? But again, I shouldn't be judgy of other people and how they play the game. So yeah, I'm not like super far along in the game just because I'm kind of, I mean, I'm a casual gamer anyway. Like I either play something for like three months straight or I won't like play it for an entire year. That's just kind of how I game. I'm not that concerned with the fact that like, you know, I'm still in the process of building houses for um, the other villagers that I've invited to my island. By the way, I named my island Menagerie because I was like, I wanna name it after a makeup brand. <laughs> So I thought Menagerie would be really cute because like it also means like that there's a bunch of animals there and I love Menagerie cosmetics. So I thought that was a pretty cute idea on my part. Why can't I remember the names of my starting villagers right now? I know one of them is Renee the Rhino and I love her. She is a sassy queen. And then the other one is like that camo alligator guy. I'm, when I edit it, I will put his name up there. I don't know why I'm blanking on him, but it's probably because I talked to Renee a lot more than I do the gator to the point where I know I annoy that woman. Um, I annoy her. I get all over her nerves and I'm okay with it because I like her a lot. I think she's quite fun. Oh, this is such a cute eye look. I love it. How have I not tried butter cupcake sooner? I don't have a like Nintendo online subscription or anything like that. I want to get one, but I am currently jobless, so that would not be my best decision. Honestly, Animal Crossing is exactly what we needed in this time, and I'm so incredibly happy that they have it. I did, this is like the one game that I stayed up until midnight on the night that it released in order to be able to like play it immediately. And the first days were like super, super slow. 
Um, but I don't mind because, you know, like, yes, we're in quarantine, yes, we're stuck inside and all of that, but also kind of with the stress of like school and classes and the fact that for me that's still very much a thing right now even though like I'm not physically there I had to move off campus stuff like that I need something that is a bit on the slow side um, in order to kind of calm my brain down so I have really appreciated what like that as a game you know right now and plus, like, it allows you to be outside without actually having to go outside when, like, it's illegal. <laughs> I mean, it's not illegal, but, like, it's illegal. I probably should have planned more to talk about Bad Animal Crossing, but that's kind of all I have in my brain. <laughs> um, I haven't gotten Isabel yet, surprisingly. She has not yet come to my campsite, but I know she comes, like, after you make the houses for the other characters. And so like I know she came in like newly for something so I didn't get to see her until pocket camp. I relate to her a lot um, in the constant like doing of things. I just adore her. She is the greatest. Well her and Blathers. Like I said, I mean I was talking about how much I love Blathers earlier. He's such a wholesome character. Um, I do wish we had Brewster in this in the museum. I am very much missing him because I missed his coffee so 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 very much like is it virtual coffee yes but brewster was a freaking delight um i have seen mugs on etsy that have like brewster's coffee logo on it and i might want that <laughs> for my new place when one does yellow blush does one do bronzer does one do highlight i think i definitely need a highlight i kind of don't want to shift away from my regular bronzer routine so i'm gonna just go ahead and do that and hope for the best because I want it still to be glowy even though butter cupcake is a matte shadow so I will make that happen and even if the idea of yellow blush scares me I'm not going outside anytime soon today so it'll be fine. I will use just like my regular blush brush which is really thick so it's probably gonna go on really pigmented. Okay never mind it's not. Whoa oh it's actually pretty cute. Okay, I should have gotten over my fear of yellow blush like sooner because it's actually pretty adorable. I think so. Anyway, at least in this lighting, it might be different, you know, on a more daily basis. <laughs> kind of put this all over my cheeks a little bit. This is not how I normally do blush, but I feel like yellow blush requires a little something different, you know? I also kind of want to like put it up here a little bit. That way, you know, my whole face has a yellow tint to it, not just like the center of it. You know? Let me put some semblance of a highlighter on my face. That way I think that'll add a little bit more depth and dimension to the yellowiness of everything. Well, that's like really glowy. I am not upset about it though. So I'm gonna do a liquid lipstick, but I'm kind of gonna blur it out because I did this for a job interview I had the other day and I thought it looked really, really good. So I'm gonna use this Melania Moore Matte Lip Cream in Loved. And so what I did, I just kind of like put a couple little pats on my lip. I'm gonna talk like this until this is over. And I just kind of tapped it out. And yes, it's a bit messy, but good news, we can clean it up. Does this require gloss? I think it requires a gloss. I'd also do some fake freckles, but I don't know if I could quite do that well. So I might just avoid it. Okay, so this looks like really cute. I think what I'm gonna do, so this is something that I do sometimes when I feel like my base is like a little too full coverage. Like I still think my skin looks very natural, but you know, I still want a little bit of like some of the freckles that actually show up on my face to kind of show up over top of my base and everything. So I'm going to go back into my self-made palette and just use a little bit of hot chocolate on this very, very tiny little detailed liner brush. So I have like a little freckle on my nose that I want to show up again. So I pat it and I just kind of like tap it out. Let me see if there's anything. Sometimes I'll do this if I have like blemishes on my face too. So like my chin freckle is showing up pretty well. I know I have one kind of going on up here. Okay, and so I think I look pretty cute. I really love how this look turned out. I think I might have just converted myself to yellow blush. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, let me know just like 
if you're playing Animal Crossing right now, what your feelings are. I know that this video was like a little bit all over the place, but I wanted to do something wholesome and lovely and also kind of tell y'all where I'm at right now because this is a weird situation. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see y'all in my next one. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye!